Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tell you a very beautiful but tragically touching story that no one else had ever mustered the courage to tell before. This is about a fascinating and fabulous kingdom of the people of the Cairn, established in the middle of the 15th century when other civilizations in Asia including Cebu and Manila, could even be hardly considered and recognized as settlements. This exotic kingdom was first ruled by a valiant prince called Sayyid Abu Bakr, who married the irresistibly lovely daughter of Raja Baginda named Paramizuli. Having ascended to the throne, Sultan Abu Bakr and Dayang Dayang Paramizuli ruled this Islamic kingdom so well that in so short a time it was transformed into the most progressive and bustling monarchy Asia had ever known. No wonder it quickly became the fascination and fantasy of explorers, traders, conquerors, and other monarchs and rulers of the Western world. As it passed on to other generations of sultans, Abu Bakr's kingdom continued to rise in fame, grandeur, and power, and attain its greatest territorial and political expansion in the 17th and 18th centuries, which unfortunately made it the object of conquest by lustful and greedy empires of the West, such as Britain, Holland, France, Portugal, and Spain, and finally, the United States of America. Attempts after attempts to conquer this kingdom of Sulu failed, and the Sultanate founded and the Quranic principle of statehood continued to flourish and became a superport and bustling commercial center of the Far East to the envy of Western civilizations. Then by a stroke of fate, the kingdom during the reign of Sultan Jamalul Alam, the Spanish forces, after several desperate attempts to place it under the crown of Spain, succeeded in taking a part of the monarchy in Holo, forcing the Sultan to sign a treaty of coexistence. The Sultan, among other things, allowed the Spanish colonial government to set up three little garrisons in Holo, Shasi, and Bungao. This treaty of 1878, from the viewpoint of the Sultan and his adherents, was not a treaty of advocation or surrender, but one of modus vivendi. The Spaniards never succeeded in acquiring overall sovereignty and territorial ownership of the Sultanate of Sulu because their control was limited only to the confines of the three little garrisons. In 1898, when the Spanish forces were collapsing because of the successful campaign for independence by the Filipino Revolutionary Movement, the loyal and heroic warriors of the Sultanate attack and capture the Spanish garrison in Bungao, which frantically forced the Spanish officials to turn over peacefully the garrison at Chassis and also arrange the turn over the last Spanish garrison in Holo at a later time. But to the shock and surprise of the Sultan on May 19, 1899, the American forces landed in Holo, violating international law diplomacy and military protocol to grab the honor of accepting the surrender of this last Spanish garrison by virtue of the Treaty of Paris signed on December 10, 1898 wherein Spain ceded and sold to the United States the Sultanate of Sulu, a territory which she did not acquire sovereignty nor proprietary right either by conquest or purchase. Making this treaty more scandalous and immoral was the fact that the cession and sale was consummated 
without the participation, knowledge, and consent of the real owner, the Royal Sultanate of Sulu. From then on, the American assumed bogus sovereignty and territorial possession of this kingdom, which was finally incorporated to the body politic of the Republic of the Philippines against the popular will and expression of self-determination of the Moro people. Yes, the Americans invaded the territorial domains of this Islamic kingdom without any formal declaration of war or congressional authority in blatant violation of their 1787 constitution. But the legitimate political aspiration of the people of the current will always remain ardently alive in their hearts and minds forever. This is the beautiful story of the Sultanate of Sulu, the once fabulous and sparkling kingdom of the Orient.